And who can forget the pleasure of taking a cool shower on a hot day? For birds, water helps to make another essential task easier, feather combing. As you know, it's much easier to comb yourself when you're wet. Duck bills are different from other birds' bills. Their edge is serrated. They have teeth, like every other comb. A duck needs to have its feathers perfectly aligned, making flat surfaces that do not hinder movement. Their frenetic combing is proof of that. Sometimes they seem to be back combing their feathers. In the end, Ducks glide on liquid surfaces and make swimming really easy. But their gliding over water is possible thanks to another of their inventions. A waterproof substance makes their feathers waterproof so not a drop sticks to them. Water actually slides over them. This waterproof feature has another function. Prevents water from reaching their skin during the hours and days these birds spend in water. Thanks to this waterproof substance, they float and swim underwater and remain dry inside. Their waterproof lotion is generated by some special glands they have near their tail. When they produce it, they rub their heads in it and then spread it all over their bodies. Oils and fats are excellent water repellents. When we spread them over our clothes or our mountain boots, we achieve the same effect as ducks, and leather remains protected and dry when it rains or snows. Humidity is not a problem in itself. The problems appear when it's cold as well. A body in water loses its warmth four times faster than when it's dry. That's why it's very easy to suffer hypothermia when you're wet. This is a creek in the mountains. Two days ago, it was completely frozen, even though it's very difficult for moving water to freeze. This year in Spain, winter temperatures have reached minus 25 degrees centigrade. Just a few meters from the ice, this aquatic blackbird is clear proof that good waterproofing, when applied to a tailored feather raincoat, is the best solution to endure the water and low temperatures. After preparing to plunge into the freezing water, the insulated bird will go after its prey, swimming underwater. Thanks to its waterproof lotion, similar to modern mineral oil, its feathers endure it, one plunge after another.
Water, clean water, is not available to everybody, especially in those ecosystems where it is the scarcest and most precious resource. Dry cleaning is then the only solution. However, you may sometimes need just a drop of water or some humidity to make some things shinier. The huge eyes of the desert gecko do not have lids, and it's really windy here, and the fine desert sand gets everywhere. Besides, we have to mention the digging habits of this species that force the gecko into closer contact with sand grains. Its eyes are well protected by a hard and crystal clear scale, which acts as a windshield against external agents. However, this sharp-edged sand, when it gets into your eyes, is a bother and may even damage your sight. The only water available is in its own salivary glands, some very small water deposits. Just a little water. The gecko is going to show us that its tongue and a very little water is the only windshield cleaner that works without leaving any marks on the glass. Dry cleaning is also used in other places. It's very useful in certain specialized cleaning. Some things are only cleaned by sand blasting. Feathers are the perfect hiding place for parasites, and although the larger ones are removed with a comb, that's with the beak, the smallest microorganisms are not bothered by it or by water. The cleaning habits of many birds include dust and sand baths. They roll on dry ground and raise enough particles so they get really well dusted. Some herons also take dust baths to prevent water-loving fungi and other infections, but their baths are really surprising. Herons usually live in places where water does not allow dust to form. Besides, they feed on fish or amphibians, and since the skin of frogs and fish or eels is covered with slimy substances, their problem is a really significant one. After they swallow their slippery prey, their feathers are filthy with sticky matter that is not easy to remove because sand is not available and the heron's beak is not serrated. Therefore, their only option is to resort to talcum powder. If we watch these birds at the end of the day, we might think they're just preening and combing themselves. However, these herons have a special group of feathers on their chest. The function of these feathers is to be ground into powder by the bird's bill. Once the feathers are ground into powder, 
It spread all over the dirty areas. 